Mike, it's really beginning to feel like holiday season out there. I mean, when I walk the streets, it's like an ode to joy. What's going on this season? What, what's going on in the brain when we feel joy? Well, the dopamine is flowing, and it's flowing in rich abundance on the, in holiday season because there's so many things to feel joyful for. There's so many happy things that we can look forward to. Just looking forward to it is enough? Well, that's the amazing thing about dopamine. It's just the anticipation that what you're doing is going to generate joy, a joyful response or a happy response. It releases the dopamine in your own brain so that you're, you're walking around in the holiday season, Christmas. Of course, I mentioned Christmas because that's what applies for me. That's in my tradition. But of course, there are many other wonderful holidays across this time of year for other people. Yes, of course. You're walking around in the holiday season, Christmas, in, in a constant state of, you could say, positive good spirits. And anticipation. If you're in the mode. If you're in the mode, you anticipate the joy and the, and the dopamine is released and you feel the joy. And you feel it that also you know, when other people then begin to be generous to you and, and, and are treating you so in, in such a positive, wonderful way. You know, it's just a joyful time for everybody concerned. We've talked about the importance of joy as kind of manifest in this holiday. But what about all the traditions? Uh, particularly, it seems like every family has their own series of traditions around right. the holiday. Why is that so important? Well, it's a wonderful benchmark in our year. You know, we're, 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 we have family traditions that have been carried forward in our families for, for generations. And we're in, it's a time in which we collectively uh, remind ourselves that we're part of a tribe, that we're a little tribe that we're connected to. We're designed neurologically to be connected with one another. We're designed to be attached to, to, to one another. We're designed to grow the other people that are close to us into ourselves, into the person that we are. And of course, now we're with, gonna be with those people. And we're with those people sharing a history mm -hmm. and sharing traditions, sharing these, this long list of bizarre things <laughs> that we associate with this wonderful holiday. And we look forward to it. We look forward so much to the, the sort of positive vibes that are going to come from all of that sharing. Of course, the holiday is not a joyful time for everyone. Some people have very negative feelings when the holidays are approaching. Yeah, that's true. And unfortunately, you know, sometimes that's just completely justified. I mean, things in their past life, their memories of Christmas. Christmas is such an important holiday to the average individual. And when it's c continuously disappointing in your childhood or in your life, you know, then there can be lots of reasons why you want to hide from it and you don't want to have any part of it. You may, maybe the, the best thing to, for you to do is to establish a new Christmas tradition. Go to the beach in Hawaii and, uh, and uh, say, hey, you know, this is my new tradition. So we've talked about family traditions, but part of what comes with um, holidays this time of year, and lots of holidays actually, are um, folklore, stories. Yeah. Right, uh, right. Reindeer flying in uh, flying reindeer is a pretty amazing story. Yes, and yeah. Santa Claus. Oh yeah, Santa Claus. What a what a great great character he is. I mean, and uh, and kids. I mean, they they get it from the best of sources. You know, Grandma tells them that Santa Claus the reindeer fly, of course knows the names of them. Everything else up there making those toys. It's amazing, and of course, uh, of course, uh, little Mary or or a little Johnny believes that you know lock, stock, and barrel, and there's a lesson in that about our brain because our brain is really pretty easily fooled especially when information comes from good sources and uh, and of course we all carry around with us a whole series of Santa Claus like stories in our brains <laughs> that aren't completely validated mm -hmm. and on that basis uh, can uh, even dominate our lives until we find out the truth or not, never find out the truth well, well, clearly it had an impact on you, and that's why you it became did, a man of science. I still remember when I found out Santa Claus was a fraud. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. And I, but still, I must say, even though I found, found it out, mm -hmm. I still love the guy. Yeah, I'm Just so you know.